everybody! I'm Maria Christina, a Book Riot contributing editor, and this is a Read Harder 2018 video. Read Harder 2018 is sponsored by Libby, the one-tap reading app from Overdrive. It's pretty excellent. You just go into the app, you find your library system, and pretty soon you are downloading ebooks and audiobooks. You can place things on Old. You can download them automatically once they are available to you. It's a pretty sweet deal, so I recommend putting that on your phone, even if it means deleting some pictures of your friends and family and the meals that you've had to make space on your phone. Just make the room to download this app because you are going to get so much out of it if you're a reader. Speaking of family and children. Um, right now, like, my kid is 90% of my camera roll on my phone. Uh, the thing we are here to talk about today is the Read Harder 2018 challenge of a classic children's book published pre-1980. So books that are older than I am. I've been thinking a lot about what makes a book a classic and I figured if it is something that someone born in 2015 like my tot has in her library all of these many years later that's that's a pretty good indicator that this book has stood a test of time. I did a real quick sleep of my kids bookcase checking out copyright pages and I found this stack of board books that are eligible for completing this challenge. You've got The Little Airplane and the Little Train, both by Lois Linsky, and The Big Red Barn, Margaret Wise Brown, uh, she of Good Night Moon fame, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, of course, um, I don't think I have to tell you anything about that. The Pokey Little Puppy, that's a golden book. And then you've got Hand, Hand, Fingers, Thumb, the nose book. Now I remember, I remember those in particular from when I was a kid and they are actually by Al Perkins even though just off the top of my head I think I would have said Dr. Seuss. Um, but nope, Al Perkins and these were all, I, I, yeah I think all of them, they were gifted to my kid by people who are parents of adults my age. So I remember reading these and I'm sure the people who who gave them to us had fond memories of reading these to their kids. So so that very much to me feels classic, right? Something that has lasted, something that can be handed down the generations. So if you have a kid living under your roof or you know a kid whose bookcase you have access to, I recommend just doing what I did. Go through their bookshelf, check out some copyright dates until you have a pile of books that you might be interested in reading for this challenge. I am um, obviously going to kill two birds with one stone doing this challenge with my kid. If your kid is at a higher reading level than mine, then you can probably do something like Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, or Bridge to Terabithia. There are lots of books that you could read for the first time or revisit. I would be interested to see how I respond to something like Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, which I haven't read since I was in sixth grade. I'm a totally different person now. So that might be a really interesting exercise. Thanks again to Libby for sponsoring Read Harder 2018. And I love this task for giving all of us an opportunity and excuse to relive our youth. Thanks for watching. Bye.